Today I'm gonna take you on a tour of Mount Vernon, an especially charming small town located in the Eastern Iowa Corridor, north of Iowa City and east of Cedar Rapids in Lynn County. The Mount of Mount Vernon is a ridge thought to be formed during the Ice Age from prevailing winds blowing sand and sediment called loess. The actual term for this geographic feature is called a paha. It's about a one mile long ridge that rises 100 feet above the surrounding landscape. Mount Vernon is economically tied to the Cedar Rapids Metro, but it is a full service community in its own. So in most cases, residents don't have to travel to Cedar Rapids or Iowa City if they prefer to just stay in town. Mount Vernon is known for its exceptional historic homes and beautiful brick downtown. Mount Vernon contains three historic districts, Uptown Historic District, Cornell College Campus, and Ash Park Historic Neighborhood. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box of this video for a historical walking tour of some of the noteworthy buildings in Mount Vernon. If you visit Mount Vernon and you like history and architecture, this is a great way to explore and learn some new things. Mount Vernon celebrates the arts. Something unique to their town is the Chalk the Walk Festival that happens every May on Main Street where hundreds of artists participate in the creation of a public chalk mural and other original works of chalk art. Whenever I'm creating video for my viewers exploring a community, I'd like to stop in some local businesses just so that you can have a look around. Here we are stopping in Fuel, a local coffee shop. I had a special guest with me today, so, you know, I had to buy her a fancy drink in order to uh, bribe her into putting up with me. Next up on our stops was Polly Ann's Vintage Market, an antique store in downtown Mount Vernon. Again, my special guest, she was calling the shots on where we were going to stop. And you know, I am unapologetic in my status as a crazy chicken lady, so I needed to look at the antique chicken items. We also stopped at Gary's Grocery Store. This is a local grocery store that's been in business since 1971. I always like to pop in grocery stores because when I have people looking at communities and they've never lived there before, maybe they're not from the area at all, they want to know what their daily life is going to look like. Does Mount Vernon have a grocery store? Yes, yes they do. And this is actually a really nice grocery store. It's well stocked. They've got a decent amount of produce. They've got a bakery, a deli. Really, they have everything that you could possibly want if you didn't want to drive into Cedar Rapids or Iowa City for a larger market. Another place you shouldn't miss if you're visiting Mount Vernon and thinking about moving here is Palisades Kepler State Park. It's located along the Cedar River and is an exceptionally beautiful area to hike, camp, and play thanks to the river bluffs, ravines, and hardwood forest in the area. Children in Mount Vernon attend Mount Vernon Community Schools. There's one elementary school, one middle school, and one high school. Go Mustangs! Mount Vernon is one of those places that just seems to have all of the elements in place to make it a really cool place to live and be. Beautiful topography, beautiful architecture, a charming main street, a lot of history, and a location not too far from larger metros. Of course, Mount Vernon shows up on numerous different best places to live lists because it makes the most of these elements and combines them in a way that is distinctly Mount Vernon. Now we're going to take a drive around some of the neighborhoods in Mount Vernon and look at houses. 
But first, I want to show you this amazing looking church and drive you past a portion of the Cornell College campus. So pretty. Just look at these huge, gorgeous Victorians directly across the street from the campus. Okay, I did some research on both the Cedar Rapids MLS and the Iowa City MLS, and the average sold price for a single family home in Mount Vernon so far here in 2023 is $281,300. There's a lot of older homes, which is great if your dream home is an older home with character, but obviously that's not the only type of home available here. There are several neighborhoods of active construction going up right now if your preference is new construction. Okay, there is no doubt about it that there is not a shortage of stunning homes in Mount Vernon, Iowa, but I don't want to give you the impression that every single house is a Victorian era mansion. That's just not the case. There are plenty of smaller and more modest homes available in this charming small town. Okay, I feel like I need to show you with proof that I'm not pulling your leg that not every single house in Mount Vernon is old. Here we are in a new construction neighborhood. This particular neighborhood is still being developed. You'll see open lots and construction actively happening here in this subdivision. I thought I'd get a little video footage of this neighborhood here as an example of one that is not new and not old, but a neighborhood in the middle. These homes appear to have been built, I would guess, in the 80s and 90s. I really like how deep the lots are and how far back the houses sit from the road. So 
what do you think of Mount Vernon? Are you looking for that small town lifestyle but still being close to metros? If you'd like to talk with me about Iowa City real estate in the greater Iowa City and Cedar Rapids area, including Mount Vernon, be sure to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. You can find all my contact information in the description box down below this video. If you're watching on your phone, just tap the title of the video and that description box will open right up. Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later.